Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant Vivo logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. And for the background color, I'll choose solid white. Hit OK and hit OK. Go to the choose grid and guide option. Click on it and select our title safe action. Now, first thing we will do, we will import our logo. I'll hit Ctrl I on keyboard to import our logo file. I'll select this logo over here. You can easily get this logo on Google. So I'll simply hit import and drag this logo over here. This is the PNG format of that logo. Press S for scaling option and scale it down at the appropriate size. Instead of quarter, I'll choose full resolution. So this is our logo. Now press Ctrl Y on keyboard to create a solid BG. And I'll call it as BG. And for the color, I'll choose white color and hit OK. I'll move this over here and I'll lock this now create one ellipse I don't want any stroke the only thing I want over here is this uh, quite white mixture of white and gray let's something like this and hit ok and by holding shift I'll create one ellipse over here select this circle Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now after that select this circle over here. Go to the Effect and Presets panel and I will apply Drop Shadow effect on it. And so we will get this shadow. As you can see the shadow is a little bit hard so what we will do first thing we will do that it will choose appropriate color for the shadow so for the shadow color i'll go over here and i'll click on this blue and i'll select something over here and hit ok for the opacity let's make it take this uh, 50 over here and for the distance i'll choose 20 percent and softness i'll increase the softness now if we go to the fit select this shape layer let's make this opacity up to 20 and see our result this looks good to me now after that what i'll do i'll hit ctrl d again and over here i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill but over here i want one stroke with the blue color yep just like this increase the stroke width up to six percent Six, six pixels sorry I'll drag this logo over here let's make it eight just like this now after that we will animate this circles over here first thing we will do we will animate this circle press s for scaling option let's make it zero initially and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit Go to the 1.5 seconds, 1.15 frames and let's make it 100. Go to the start, select those keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes. Go to the graph editor, select this handle and by holding shift, I'll drag this over here. If I hit play, we are getting this smooth animation. After that what I'll do, I'll move this thing up to 1 second, so let's say. After that hit Ctrl T. And for this one, I'll choose proper white color. And I'll simply drag this over here. And for this one, I don't want any drop shadow effect, so I'll delete it. Just move a little bit over here. After this animation, I'll move this stroke over here. 
go to the add menu and add trim path go to the trim path let's make it zero initially at the end point create one keyframe go to dot over here let's make it 90 or let's say 100 only hit ok select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and by holding shift i'll adjust this handles like this after this i'll hit ctrl d over here and now what i'll do i'll go to the trim path and i'll delete this trim path so after that i'll hide this for now select this hit u so we can see our keyframes as you can see at this point our animation is completing so i'll drag this over here and Un hide this press s for scaling option create one keyframe go few frame forwards and create another keyframe select this one and hit f now what we will do we will go to the content ellipse one go to the go to the stroke width go to the stroke width and create one keyframe over here hit u and at this point i will make it zero select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor zoom in a little bit and by holding shift i'll drag this over here if i hit play we are getting something like this now after that what i'll do i'll select this white circle over here hit ctrl d move this thing over here just like this hit u and we will delete the keyframes for this circle and for the color i'll choose something like blue color let's see something over here and hit ok and i'll drag this thing over here now after that we will hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call this mask for now now select this circle press y on keyboard with the help of pen behind tool i'll adjust the anchor point of this circle over here now press s for scaling option let's make it zero initially create one keyframe after a few free frames keyframes i'll make it 100 I'll hit this option so if I hit play we can see our animation select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and by holding shift I'll adjust this keyframes like this now at this point what I'll do I'll select this circle hit ctrl T press Y on keyboard to choose pen behind tool and I'll drag this anchor point over here again hit ctrl d for this one i'll drag this anchor point over here again hit ctrl d i'll drag this anchor point over here and adjust them randomly something like this so it will animate from all the sides now what we need to do we need to change the color for this one i'll choose something like this hit ok For this one, I'll choose a darker version of this blue. Hit OK. And for this one, I'll choose some different version. Let's something like this. Now, after that, what I'll do, I'll select both all this force layer. Unhide this option. Press Ctrl Shift C. I'll call it as circles. Hit OK. Alt open bracket press f4 and we need to mask it so i'll choose alpha mat over here if i hit play now 
just like this now select both of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as circle animation and hit ok alt close back now as you can see we have one logo over here but the color of this logo is not appropriate over here so for that what we will do i'll drag this logo over here go to the effect and presets panel apply fill effect on that logo and for the color i'll choose white color hit ok Yep, so our most of the animation is done now. So after that, what we will do? At this point, we need some extra animations over here and everywhere. So for that, what we will do? I'll choose my ellipse tool. I don't want any stroke, so I'll delete it. I'll create one circle over here. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Drag this circle over here. Press S for scaling option. Create one zero over here. Create one keyframe. After few few keyframes, let's make it hundred. Move this over here. Select this keyframe. Hit F9. Now press T for opacity. I'll make this fifteen. Create one keyframe. Hit U. And at this point, it should be zero. Select both of them and hit F9 to easily use those keywords. Move it a little bit over here. Select those keyframes. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph editor and adjust the handles. Yep. So if I hit play, yeah. Now we need to create multiple copies of these circles. It's totally up to you. You can create many of copies if you want. It's okay if they are overlapping with anyone. Now select both of them. Press Ctrl Shift C and i'll call it as let's say abstract hit ok alt close opening bracket sorry now double click on it now after that what i'll do i'll go over here select all of them alt close bracket and right click keyframe assistant sequence layers hit ok i'll zoom out if i hit play we are getting something like this. Go to the main animation. Now if I hit play. We are getting this kind of stuff. Now after that select all of them. Press Ctrl Shift C. Hit OK. Press S. Let's make it 90. Create one keyframe, go over here, let's make it 100. Press F4, select this option, go over here, select this option and select this option. Hit N. If I hit play, as you can see, this is our simple, elegant logo animation with very few settings if you want to add anything extra what you can do i'll simply drag this thing a little bit over here let's say up to eight seconds after that i'll apply light sweep effect on it i'll drag this anchor point over here Create one keyframe on the center, hit U, 
go few frame forward slides up to 6 and move this anchor point over here now if i hit play this is our final output So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then stay tuned.